paid professionals. So in this video here, I'm gonna show you three different ways you can highlight and change the color of a specific word inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now, I highly recommend you actually watch the entirety of all three workflows in this video because you'll probably be replicating this effect hundreds, if not thousands of times in your career, meaning every second you save in this workflow is probably going to equate to hours of your life saved by the end of the day. So I really recommend taking careful consideration when choosing the workflow for this method. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. So here is highlight word version number one. And the beautiful thing about this is we only stick within the edit page. We don't have to go inside Fusion. So let's dive into how to do this one. First thing we're going to need is a text plus node. So we'll just drag that on like so. Then we want to customize this to whatever we want. So once we're happy with the style of our text plus node, we can simply alt drag this up to create a duplicate. And in here, we're gonna to have to get rid of any sort of opacity based effect. So I've got this glow going on, so I can just turn that off. Now, here's where the magic begins. All we have to do is change the color of our words and then use the write on effect here to make things disappear. And just like this, we've created our first highlighted word while sticking within the edit page. Now, before you get too excited about sticking to the edit page, there are some limitations we have to be aware of. So the first one here is that if we try and change the size, that immediately this effect breaks and it doesn't work. And another thing that becomes really annoying is if we want to start changing the styles. So if I click in here and I go, you know what, Roboto Black, it's too bold. I need something a bit lighter. And I go for a Times New Roman. I got a really bad taste. All of a sudden, now we have to redo everything on every effect twice. So this all of a sudden means playing with, and experimenting with things becomes a very slow and tedious process. So let's talk about how we can do this with just one text plus node, which brings us onto highlight method number two. So this is where we're we'll creating it, where we get this nice highlighted effect and we can change the scaling and do whatever we want. To do this, again, we're gonna start with a text plus node and change this to the styling that we desire. So once we're happy with the styling, we can go inside Fusion, right click here and choose character level styling. Then if we click on modifiers, we can now highlight the word we want to highlight and just simply do the modifications we want. So here we can change the color. We can go back into our shading tab where we've created these nice looking effects and customize them on a character basis style. And most of all, we can do things like changing the size and you'll see everything else repositions along with it, which allows for that ultimate level of flexibility. Now, here's the annoying thing is the fact that we have to keep switching to Fusion, activating character level styling, and then go through all these modifications just to create one little effect that's gonna be on the video for a very small amount of time. It's not very time efficient on our part. So here is the ultimate solution. Highlight words number three. Now, full disclaimer, this is actually a paid add-on that I've created myself. So just wanna give that out there as a full disclaimer. Here's how to do highlight word method number three. Once you've downloaded and installed the Snap Ultimate template, we can just drag it on like so. Then we can change the styling to whatever we want. So in this case, I'm going to turn Emphasis off and Snap Highlight on. Now, all we have to do is if I wanna say highlight this word, I can just drag this across like so, line it up, and there we have it. Now, there is a distinct disadvantage here of the fact that we can't change the sizing of the highlighted word in this case. So full disclaimer, there is a limitation there. But if we wanna do things like styling changes and font changes, this is extremely easy to do. We can go in here, we can change this to Roboto, bold, and just like so, everything still works, it still fits. And there's a myriad of other cool styling options we get here, such as these depth effects, which are pretty easy to toggle on and off, and a whole bunch of other things. My favorite personally is the turn circle on. So if we have a look at this right here, we get this beautiful little circle that draws around and we can very easily and very quickly change which side we want this to work all with inside the edit page. No having to go inside messy old fusion, just like this. So if you're interested in that workflow right there, you can check the description for where to grab Snap Ultimate. Now, before you run, you should definitely check out the Snap Emphasis effect where you have color changing lines that happen automatically, no keyframing, no animation. And you've probably seen these kinds of effects in these shorts such as Alex or Moses. So if you wanna find out more about that one, you should check out this video here. And until next time, I'll catch you all around. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.